Let's talk about who I'm excited to see at Heroes Con. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks. And as you're watching this, Heroes Con 2024 is just about to get underway, but not before I do another Top 5 Friday. And I don't know why I decided to subject myself to this, but I'm going to try to pick just five, just five creators that I'm really excited to see this year at Heroes Con. Now, I thought about just doing this, like just because there's featured guests and there's Indie Island. First of all, I'm going to Heroes Con and the reason you go to Heroes Con is to meet people. There are so many creators, both independent and uh, I guess all creators are independent, but you know, you might know them for independent works or you might know them from uh, their time at the big two, huge characters and stuff they've worked on. But there are a lot of people that I'm excited to meet for the first time. And some I'm excited to just reconnect with. We haven't, it's been a while since we've spoken. So I'm going to attempt to look at the guest list for both Indie Island and uh, the featured guests and give you a list of just five that I'm super, super excited to meet. So as I'm sitting here, I'm going through all of the uh, the names right now, which is why you see me just looking at this screen. And this is going to be terrible, but we're going to get started. So uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep this to people that I haven't met before with one exception. And that exception is coming in at the number five spot. And that is Stephanie Williams. It is always a great time when I see Stephanie Williams. And uh, it's, it's just fun. Uh, she's got quite a few new projects out since last time I saw her. The Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur graphic novel is out now uh, just today as I'm recording this. Wednesday, uh, her, she's got a new My Little Pony book out. Uh, I've actually read a lot of her Nubia run, so we can talk about that. And um, it's just a fun, a fun time. If you listen to our podcast episode, I believe she was on episode 23 of the podcast, then uh, you'll know that, uh, you know, sometimes it effing sucks, <laughs> but not in the case of uh, our conversations. So I'm excited. Maybe get a quick five, seven minute interview done on the convention floor with the homie Stephanie Williams. Now, at the number four spot, and these are in honestly zero particular order, but at the number four spot has got to be one of my favorite artists in comics, and that is David Finch. Now, I've spent an inordinate amount of time as someone who does not fancy themselves an artist watching people's art streams. And when I was really heavy into art streams, there were two names that I watched all the time. One was Jim Lee and the other was David Finch. And while I enjoyed watching both, I love David Finch's ability to articulate why something works well or doesn't work well as he's laying it out on the page. You guys know I buy the Walking Dead Deluxe twice a month because well, not just because, but largely because of those David Finch covers. There are not a lot of people in comics, or especially superhero comics, that draw and just do art with the skill and relative ease that uh, David Finch does it with. So I'm very excited to meet David Finch. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and bring along my copy of the David Finch art book that I grabbed from Kickstarter, uh, just because it's a really small book. It's something I don't mind carrying on my back. I feel like I'm done with the days of bringing a ton of books to sign, but that's a small book. And there's really only one other book that I'm planning to court a signature on. And we'll talk about that one a little bit later. Let's talk about the number three spot on the list. And that's going to go to my man, Josh Greathouse, or just Greathouse, as he's been credited. I talked to you guys about him last week uh, because he's got a book, a uh, creator-owned book that he's been doing called Bang. It's completely self-published, first as a webcomic and then in books. And uh, I read the first volume of Bang, which is chapters, I guess, one through four. Really, really enjoyed it on my vacation. Um, and he's got a volume two. I've got to go to get the volume two, although I probably could just send him an email and, and grab it digitally, but I would like to get a physical copy and really support my man, Great House. Uh, his art is just, it's good. It's just, it's fun. It's a fun book. So 
Where are we at? We at three. I got two more spots. I think I know who those two spots are going to. So at the number two spot on the list is going to go to Rodney Barnes. Rodney Barnes, uh, probably most notably the creator and writer on Philadelphia. Uh, but he's done all sorts of comics, usually horror comics, since I've been in the space. And while I don't really read horror comics, Philadelphia issue number one was a book that just hooked me. Like, I, I can't explain how much I enjoyed Philadelphia through that one issue. I ended up buying the next 18 issues of that book, Sight Unseen. And then when it was time for me to go ahead and binge, I read the first volume, so the first six issues of Philadelphia, decided it was a little bit too mature for my taste, but the storytelling was top notch. He's also done uh, other books. What is the other book that he just he just wrapped it recently? It was about the, uh, the group home kid that finds out he's an alien. I keep joking that it's like the Saiyan saga. Um, well, that was quite the mind blank, but the book was called Monarch. So the series Monarch, I really enjoyed. I, I read all five issues of that. Point is, Rodney Barnes, one of the coolest creators in comics. And definitely when you talk about like black comics writers, he's got to be top two. And he's probably not two, you know. So I want to meet Rodney Barnes. And I don't, even, I don't know if I'm bringing a bunch of books to get signed, but I definitely want to at least see him. He's going to be on a panel. The first day with Stephanie Williams, uh, with Mark Guggenheim, and with Greg Rucka. So that literally Friday afternoon, first panel, Rodney Barnes. It's going to be a good con if you meet Rodney Barnes within the first hour of you arriving at a convention. So that was the number two spot. The number two spot, excuse me, number one spot this year I'm most excited to meet at Heroes Con is Daniel Warren Johnson. Now, Daniel Warren Johnson, not new to Heroes Con. In fact, both times I've been to Heroes Con, Daniel Warren Johnson has been there. I've never as much as walked past his table while he was there, so I don't think I've ever seen the man in person. And there's plenty of people that goes for at Heroes Con. Um, but anyway, uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, I'm really excited to meet, and it's for such a sentimental reason. So, one second. So as many of you guys know, um, one of my good friends and channel moderators, uh, Skip and Tosh, passed away uh, last year, actually like a week after Heroes Con last year. And one of the last things he asked me to read was Murder Falcon, this book right here. And uh, Murder Falcon by Daniel Warren Johnson, while I won't spoil it, I'll just say it's a very special book to me because of my friend Skip who passed and um, the number one mission I have at this convention is to meet my man D dubs and get this book signed. Like that's literally it. I want to get this signed, this book signed in memory of my man, Skip and Tosh. And uh, yeah, I bought this book just for that reason. I already owned it digitally, but yeah, that's my mission this year at Heroes Con. If I do nothing else, if I don't get a single creator interview, if I don't meet anybody new, that's cool. As long as I get my copy of the Murder Falcon Deluxe Edition signed by Daniel Warren Johnson. So listen, there's a lot that I'm excited about for Heroes Con, but I decided to limit myself to five creators I could shout out in this video. If you guys are coming to Heroes Con, chances are... I'm already there by the time you see this video, or I am just in route, and uh, I'm very excited to meet you, so let me know in the comments down below if you're here, if you're at the con, hopefully we can meet up, and if not, hey, that's cool, just stay safe, stay awesome, and read something dope today. Peace.